Why learn C++ programming when there are so many other options, like C or Objective-C? C++ is one of the four languages used to develop apps for Windows 8. As if anyone cares about Windows 8. A large part of MySQL and Adobe were written in C++. Adobe Flash is being replaced by HTML5, the same way Flash supplanted Silverlight by Microsoft. Back in the so-called good old days, C++ was a big language, especially in the 1980s. C++ might have been the programming language you learned in school. Or it is what the professors taught because that was big in their heyday, which is obsolete now. In 2000, Microsoft released a version of C++ compatible with .NET. Microsoft proved it was past its prime when they stopped supporting Windows XP, despite a quarter of all PCs using it. A lot of Linux programs are written in C, not C++. C cannot handle major text processing or object handling. For that, you need C++. It is not like I'm planning on writing a blog. And a lot of languages can handle forms. C++ is popular for gaming development. It used to be the only option for multiplayer games over networks and 3D games because it offered greater control over audio and video output. You can build games in Java and Lua too. C was easier to learn because it had a smaller vocabulary, and every hardware manufacturer has a compiler for it. The same has carried over to C++. So now we are down to using it for the operating system and not much else. C++ is commonly used in the open source market. Mostly because of the C++ and Windows ties. Python and other languages are more popular because they are easier to learn. Learn C++ to create drivers, control audio cards, build games and enterprise apps. You'll literally have the skills to work from micro to macro.